In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips and tricks in Roblox My Store. If you're new around here, I'm LCLC. Smash the sub, hit the like, and let's get on with the video. Tip one. The first thing you're going to want to do is get some staff on the tills. Otherwise, these customers stand around not getting served. Pull up your staff management menu and you want to get your till staff first. Those are the ones with the money. You can worry about janitors later. They only give you XP at the moment and stacking shelves. Well, you can get those guys next. So start with till staff. That way you'll get an income without doing anything. And now your customer gets served and you get paid whilst you can do other things. Tip two. The next thing you're going to want to do is move these checkouts. They are in the wrong place. They spawn by default at the back of the map, kind of like my restaurant. However, in any shop, all the tills are near the exit for a reason and I'll show you why. So we're gonna delete these and I've placed down some cashiers at the front entrance to my store and that way customers can come and go really quickly. So once they get served, you will see they exit the building straight away, just like in a real store and then that triggers a new customer. Boom, and here he comes and he's off to buy some new products. Here he is buying something up on this shelf, but he's got a long distance to walk back to the tills. So that brings me on to my next tip. Tip three. Location, location, location. You've got to place your shelves in the right location. You want to get them at the beginning as close to the tills as possible. That way your customers have the least distance to travel between the entrance of the shop the shelf and then back to the cashier till. You want that as short as possible at the beginning so you can get as much money in as fast as possible and as many customers as fast as possible. I will post a more advanced layout at the top right but for now as a beginner, check out this guy. He walks over to the beans and then back to the cashier till. Very short distance will get your customers in and out and your money in and out very fast. Tip four. Follow me over to the mall for the first time and we are going to buy a theme because not only do they look good but they also give you extra cash and extra XP. So get whichever one you can afford as quick as you can because you're going to get 5, 10, 15, 20% more money and two or three times the XP depending on which theme you've got. I've got the luxury one here with the Game Pass just to help out the developers and this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool but at the moment the futuristic one is the most OP. However, I'm just supporting the devs here and yeah, just going to give you a tour of this luxury theme. Hopefully it becomes the most OP in the end. Uh, although maybe they don't want this game to be pay to win. So yeah, use in-game money if you can or spend some Robux. Tip. Five. As with all of these games, you can get more floors and more floors means more customers and more customers means more money. So you want to get as many floors as you can, as fast as you can to force more customers into your store. This is what it looks like. I've got three at the moment. I'm going to try and get a full build. I'll make another video on that. But this is what it looks like right now. And of course, the obligatory, obligatory, I can't even say that word, view from the top floor looking down on some noobs which are next to me which are possibly other early access youtubers tip six this mechanic is slightly different this is the product mechanic which is different to my restaurant and arcade empire because in this game you've got various different products and each one will give you a different amount of xp and sell for a different price kind of like the food in my restaurant kind of like the arcades in arcade empire but it's slightly different because each shelf sells a different item. It's a bit like my supermarket, I guess, if you played that game. So what you wanna do is you wanna get some fridges. These sell milk rather than cans of beans, so we're gonna get one of those. Also, you wanna go over here, you wanna get some toiletry shelves. These sell toiletry stuff. So yeah, you wanna get one of those, and you wanna keep varying it up. We're gonna go and get some clothing racks. Clothing racks are expensive, and so on. There's a lot more to get. You just need a lot of money. Video games looks really cool. Anyway, let's go check these out in the store so you can see the variety of products and how much people pay, and hold on a minute. Who's this bomb in my video? G Dizzle, what's up G Dizzle? Go sub to G Dizzle if you haven't already. Anyway, we are going to place down this new item, the fridge, and check that out. Notice the blue space in front where you need for customers to uh, access the fridge, I guess. And then also we got this uh, clothing rack uh, we're going to spin it round so that customers face the right direction. Oh, there's a Where's Wally clothing. Also, we've got the toiletries and this sells toiletries. Yeah, so we're going to zoom in on those and check it out. we got milk, 2%. I don't drink milk. I'm a vegan. But anyway, let's move on. Where's Wally clothing and some blue leggings and toilet paper. Just what you need. Uh, right, let's check out. Oh, this customer's come to buy some soap. Okay. He's gonna buy some soap. And look, he's walking around the furniture. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this box here. Uh, delete this shelf because he's taking the long way around to the till, which is annoying me. Uh, as I develop a better layout, I'll leave a link at the top to it uh, in the future. But right now I'm gonna delete that shelf so customers can walk through just like this guy did. And he's much more efficient, gets to the till and gets served fast. Tip 
seven capsules unlock customers and different customers are different level they give you different xp and they give you different amount of money some customers are super op you want to get as many different customers as you can to increase your xp which increases your level and brings you in more money so you want to unlock as many of these as you can we're going to move on to the next one and unlock some youtubers as well actually that's asimo he's a developer and this is uh, captain america tip Hey. Now this is as always the best tip of all use an auto clicker but also use it to just auto click the capsules that way when you're sitting there doing nothing you're unlocking those rare customers and you're unlocking more XP and more money and keeping your game online rather than it turning off every 20 minutes. I will leave a link in the description down below to the auto clicker that I use that is perfectly safe unless of course something happens don't blame me. Tip 9. The next thing you want to upgrade is your cash registers. The standard one is really slow, takes 10 seconds. This one takes 8 seconds. It's much faster. So we're going to buy one of these and we're going to replace our cash registers with a much faster setup. Here I'm going to place this down and then we're going to serve a customer and see how much faster it is. So boom, we've placed it down. We're going to put some of the other tills next to it just for comparison. And we are going to load up some, uh, some, some staff and get them serving customers. Oh, there's Spider-Man. Okay, here's Meg. Uh, okay, so this one takes 8 seconds to serve a customer. And this one takes 10 seconds to serve a customer. Money, money, money. Tip. 10. This is where things get exponentially better because you can upgrade your shelves, you can upgrade your tills by combining 10 into 1. So if we upgrade 10 normal shelves, which I'm going to buy a few more, if we upgrade 10 of these into one super shelf, it doubles the capacity. Oh, I leveled up. So I'm going to take 10 of the standard shelves over here and upgrade them to one super shelf, get double the capacity. Now I've got one of these super shelves and I'm going to place that down in my store and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're back in my store and here is a super shelf, double the capacity of a standard shelf. Costs a lot of money, but you know this is going to exponentially increase sales and customers and money and XP and everything. So this is my old 10 stock shelf and this is my new 20 stock shelf. Bonus tip, you can also upgrade your staff. So the cashiers, they can have faster hands, which goes from level 1 up to 20 and no doubt more in the future. Also, we've got cleaning upgrade and a restock speed increase for this guy for 50 bucks stop 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 don't go anywhere i need a favor from you i need you to smash the thumbs up subscribe to my channel with the bell and stay tuned because at the end of this video there's some cool artwork that you guys have sent in to me